Good morning, everybody. I'm up way before the sun, and I'm going to be photographing a scene that's very familiar to me. I have not photographed it successfully on 14 by 17, so hopefully today is going to be the day. I've got a completely clear sky, and the sun is coming up, so I better get set up. Why don't you guys come along? Okay, I'm all set up. Camera's in horizontal. Sun is starting to hit the building. I just want it, I'm just waiting for the light to hit over here more. I would like to have this tree, the base part of the tree, the trunk, I guess you call it, uh, dark like that. I'm gonna take some meter readings and probably after I've taken my pictures, I'll show you the complete setup. Yeah, I gotta take some meter readings. I am using a yellow filter because there's a blue sky there, so I wanna have a little bit of tone. This is a Fuji green, and I've got a yellow filter, so two thirds of a stop. I'm just gonna apply that to the meter. So EI 50. And I'm probably gonna take a reading inside the second floor between the two columns. Or the tree of trees, the shadow of the trees over there maybe is better. Eight seconds at 11 and a half and second floor between the two columns. It's about the same. Grass in the foreground, 32, of course, it's really bright. The trunk, 16. As you can see, lots of vehicles are passing by. Their film crew is set up at the next building. And they're transporting, uh, extras so they're going to be going back and forth pretty busy place today yeah i think i'm going to base my exposure on the shadows over there of the tree dark foliage eight seconds at 11 and a half i'll get that set up and adjust accordingly as the light changes eight seconds 11 and a half is wide open on this lens. So this is the uh, 600 Fujinon. I love this lens. A little bit longer than normal for this format. So 11 and a half. I'll put that deep shadow on zone three. Put two stops less. F22. And we're at eight seconds. And I think I'll go to 32 for 16. Guess I'll stick a holder in. Shutter's closed. Yep. Starting to get some light on that tree. That's okay. Just want a little bit more light on that building. Okay, I've decided to take one with the uh, light on the tree. And the second shot I'll do when there's more light on the building. 48 seconds with reciprocity. There's a cable release. Oh, that's what we found that side today. All right, that's 48 seconds. I don't like it with the light on the tree and the building dark. Squirrel running around out there. Almost tempted just to take another one. I think I will. I like it, I like it. Not what I initially planned for, but you know, that's interesting. 
should have focused on the tree. Hey, Squirrely. Hello. A little bit of light on the building. Now let's do it. Almost dozed off there. Okay. Well, that's it, folks. Only have the two sheets of film. And it's always a pain trying to get the hold the slide back in the holder. There we go. Just gotta be super careful when you do this. Okay. All right, that's it. I'll give you guys a quick tour of the camera. Don't you go and get beautiful now. Okay, as you can see, the camera is in horizontal mode. Camera is tilted up. Back and front standards are both 90 degrees to the base. So that means I'm gonna have some convergence with the building there, as you can see. My little bellows sag hook is working well. A little bit worried about the strap. I might have to reattach that. So that is it. Yeah, I can hear bears in the bush. I'm going to get packed up and get out of here. Head back home, have some breakfast. You guys know the drill. Make myself some coffee. Every little sound now, I'm jumpy. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so after I've filled my belly with breakfast and coffee, I'm going to head into the darkroom and get cracking on these two sheets. See you in the darkroom. <laughs> I have to go pee. So I'm working with the 160 dilution. So I need 25 mils of A. Stop and good old Ilford Rapid. And I have to do this all in the dark. Stop down to F forty five. Nice photo 
flow. Okay, now I have to poke this pin into that corner. And I have to be very, very careful. So I just push it down, give it a little bit of pressure with twists just to poke it in a bit. That way I can pick it up and then push it through carefully. And pull it out. And this is my little hanger. It's just a paper clip bent into shape. And I poke it into the hole. And then I pull it out. And then hang it up to dry. Here is the negative. I really wanted to come back and reshoot this because I, I kind of messed up that one shot. It's clearly changed now because it's been a little over a month since I was last here setting up for the shot that you were watching me set up for. So scrapping all that, I was finally able to come back. I mean, living on the wet, wet, wet coast, west coast of BC, it typically rains a lot. So I had this, have this small window. I whipped over here and uh, it's glorious, absolutely stunning, the light. We're well into autumn, as you can see. The leaves are pretty much off of that. Uh, maple, Colosseum maple. So anyways, I thought I would whip back here, get a couple more shots. I got the 600 Fujinon, awesome lens, really sharp. And I stuck on the my yellow number 15. The yellow number 15 is on because we've got some blue sky here. So I want a little bit of tone there, just a little bit. And I don't want jet white to compete with these columns. Although these columns, you know, they're... They are white, but they won't be rendered as white as the sky would be. So as far as my meter readings and placements go, I base the exposure on on the second floor and that opening to the right. I place that on zone three and the brick up top on the building was four, four and a third stops brighter. So that would put it on seven and a third. Um, I also metered the sunlit grass. When I took the picture, it was already lit up and it was about the same as up there. And I also checked this area, which is pretty bright and that's a five stop difference. So essentially I'm dealing with a normal subject luminance range. So my ex base exposure was 16 seconds at F, 45 and a third. So I had to apply reciprocity, so that brought up to you. 48 seconds. It's relatively calm. There is a really light breeze that picks up. So I, I tried to get the take the shot uh, be, between gusts. Now it's starting to get really cloudy over there. Some clouds moving in as you can see and down along the bottom uh, it's starting to uh, take away from the brightness of the sun. So I think I got here in the nick of time. Nothing really different from the setup last time. The camera's tilted up. Rear and front standards are uh, parallel with one another and they're at 90 degrees to the base. I, I've tried taking pictures with corrections, bringing the back forward and the, tilting the lens forward, but I just, I don't like how it flattens out the building. It kind of flattens the perspective. I, I like it the building kind of leaning, the keystoning that's going on. Sometimes that's okay. Obviously, if I was an architectural photographer, that probably would not be okay, but I'm not. I can't believe I lucked out. I waited so long for this. Now, hopefully everything will go swell in the dark room. I'm probably gonna do the PC 512 Borax. Anyways, that's it for me. I'm gonna pack up and head home.
You guys know the drill. I didn't have breakfast. I'm gonna have breakfast. Catch you guys later. I wish I had three arms. Hungry. Hungry. Let's make a carbon transfer print. Thank you.